Um, I don't know what it is, but uh, the past couple days, I've just might be some sort of epidemic sweeping the entire planet or maybe just Twitter in general, but I have read some of the worst tweets in a long time recently. Matthew here says Black Ops 1 was one of the worst Call of Duties ever made. I could say a lot of things, but I left a nice tweet for him just saying, you know, yo, have a good night, man. It took every single bone in my body to not... I've seen worse shit than that, but honestly, I've already lost enough brain cells by looking at it again. I love you, Nade Shot, but... And Pomage goes and replies to it and says, facts. Pam, Austin, I... <laughs> Pump the brakes. Right, so as you can see down in the bottom right, we now have double XP and double weapon XP. This is the first double XP we're experiencing on Modern Warfare. Now, here's the thing. Double XP in general, it's kind of like, it's almost kind of useless. Obviously, not everybody is level 155. This gives an opportunity to all of those players out there that haven't made it, that haven't had the time to grind out, to kind of catch up at least a little bit, or at least past 56. I would play Shoot House right now, but it's actually a really bad idea. Didn't really think about how sweaty, oh my god. Dude, the sweat is gonna be ridiculous. The skill-based matchmaking is already ridiculous. Now that we have double XP, everyone is- Oh my god. Uh, back to ground war with my ass. I'm doing anything I can to avoid that shit. Oh, apparently there's like some new king at the top. Clandy has been completely dethroned, I think, for the top suicides here. I just saw more stupid shit on my timeline to the point to where I actually forgot what I was even going to do. Once you pass level 55 and hit level 56, you end up being in your officer shit. And then I think December 3rd, once that whole thing dropped, everybody that's above level 56 will be reset back down to 56 and then everybody's gonna have their new challenges i have over 80 of my ribbons completed i think around like 85 or something so i feel like i should probably go for those challenges but obviously i got enough challenges to deal with at the moment i'm trying to get damascus that's a bigger fucking accomplishment than any emblem you can hand me i hate the reload on this fal if these things don't stop getting tangled i why do wires do this why stop Is there any reason I couldn't just like lock onto it or something? I don't like this FAL. I don't like the idea of having to spam my gun. I just either want to hold it down or fire one shot. I'm, I'm done. I just, I don't know. I don't like this bullshit where I have to like fire my weapon and then I got to worry about the ridiculous flinch on this game, by the way. Because you can hand me a modded controller or anything with like a jitter mod and I still wouldn't use these semi-auto weapons. I don't like I'm happy this is the only one for the assault rifle category. I hope so anyway. Oh, there's a Wilson. I'm going to help somebody with their challenge now. Reload. I put the new mag in. What the fuck? Okay, I, I don't want to use this Wilson. Can I like, can I call it in and then just have it do shit for me automatically? I don't want to control it. I mean, the range is good on the FAL. I'm not saying the FAL is a bad gun. I just personally don't like semi-auto. Same way as shit. I know people that don't like sniper rifles, period. They don't like that shit. They don't like using them. They don't like seeing them. They don't like dying to them. They don't like anything about them. Right, let's call this Wilson. It, uh, oh shit, it's inside. What? What just happened? Did I just get hit by an EMP drone or some shit? That's, that lasted long. I've learned over time with that glare, you do. You just don't want to be hard scoping. You really don't. If you're going to be sitting up in windows, you got to be moving around and only scope in when you think you got a shot. Don't stay in there because people are looking for that glint. It is so easy to see. I honestly think that snipers need a buff. I'm not even joking. Something, I, I, anything. The assault rifles are going to take forever. If I grind hard enough, although Thanksgiving is tomorrow, so it's going to be like, I'm going to be spending some, at least quite a few hours with the family and shit like that. So maybe the suppressor will actually make this a lot easier. Oh, so yesterday, uh, Swift. Swag. I think he got invited out to like the Infinity Ward headquarters or something like that to test out some of the stuff that's coming out for season one, the thing I covered yesterday. And he ended up asking Joe, Joe Seacott, some questions about, you know, some of the things that we've been wanting to hear about. Skill-based matchmaking, uh, spawns, other shit like that. Things that we all really felt like they were just ignoring. Or at least that's, you know, how it comes out anyway whenever, you know, everybody's asking a question. It's a very obvious glaring issue and there's just, like, it's just very obviously can't, they can't address it for one reason or another. It's frustrating. So the fact that swag got out there and was able to actually go out there and ask them the questions and even get answers is uh fucking yes i'll put his video down in the description if i can remember to but he asked like a handful of questions like five six questions something like that dude what 
that was his longest shot he's ever gotten. He got on for some double XP and he shoots me from fuck knows how far away. He's gonna have four total fucking kills the entire game, but at least he's fulfilled. You know what, Tim? Nice shot. I'm clenching my teeth so hard that I'm pretty sure my gums are pregnant. He ended up asking Joe about skill-based matchmaking, and basically the answer we ended up getting was, uh, yeah, we're always looking to tune it and try to make it, you know, maybe a little less strict just so everybody can enjoy themselves a little bit more, but obviously we want to end up protecting the less skilled players and stuff. We don't want them to have a bad experience. It goes back to their original thing where they were saying that they wanted to protect some of these players so they don't, like, you know, get on the game, get shit on, and then just quit forever. Which is completely fair. I absolutely understand that, and from a business standpoint, I completely understand it. For companies, it's a lot about growth and shit like that. I mean, as a YouTuber, I mean, a lot of YouTubers try to pay attention to growth and stuff like that. They see growth as, like, hype, and they just see, like, a whole bunch of traffic and all sorts of shit like that. So it's better than just having the same, you know, some odd thousands of people playing your game every day that you know will get on every single day. You will be interested in trying to get new players, new people. Basically, they're saying we're not gonna get rid of this kind of thing, and it's here for a reason. And skill-based matchmaking is different in all of those games. He said, hey, why can't we have something like, uh, you know, Infinite Warfare hat? I think the matchmaking on there was pretty good, because I think it prioritized, like, a uh, connection and stuff like that. I didn't play Infinite Warfare that much, so I have no idea how it worked. I'm gonna assume it was probably much better than this. I don't know why my guy can't drive his car fast, but, like, I literally hold right trigger down, and it just drives that slowly. I don't know what's wrong. I, I absolutely don't understand it. It happens with every single vehicle I have. I can't do anything about it. I'm gonna go over here and fucking shit on these dumb asses. I'll just come over here and bully these guys. I don't care. You've shot me enough fucking time. I will wait for you here. This guy's looking over here at me. Calling an airstrike on it. Nice try, Timmy. Oh, you guys don't want to sit up on the rooftops anymore? What happened? Where'd you guys all go? You spawned somewhere else. There's two snipers staring at me right now, and I'm just gonna lay here and have them stare there. And then I'm gonna look at their score at the end of the game. Maybe they'll realize the error of their ways and finally figure out why they can't drop more than six kills. Maybe. Just maybe. Here, I wanna fuck with him. You still looking? He is. This man has the patience of a fucking rock. So I'm gonna move over here so when he does finally see me. I'm gonna check one more time. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I still have almost the most on the team. I'm cool. I can waste time. Did he give up? I think he gave up. No, oh, he's still looking. I see you. <laughs> I'm not gonna challenge. I can't give him the satisfaction of actually killing me. Ooh, time to get down. <laughs> There's no way this guy has sat here this entire time and just not done anything. I want to make him feel bad for being that dead set on it. It's a common mistake that most people make. Sometimes you just overcommit. Everybody ends up overcommitting to something. I'm just trying to help them learn. I'm trying to teach them like, listen, man, you, you gotta move. <laughs> you're wondering how you're still leveling slower than people when you got double XP. It's like, come on, man. You're not gonna hit me. I went 22 and 3 just sitting here harassing snipers. I <laughs> didn't get nearly as many kills as I should have, but you know what? It was worth it. Every single one of those kills were way more satisfying. Listen, I love all my sniper friends, but holy fuck, man, you gotta move. It'll definitely help me uh, with this whole Damascus grind. I'll be able to get through a lot of the uh, ARs much faster. We got five days, okay? Up until December 3rd, or maybe the day before that, not entirely sure. It might go down for a little bit or some shit like that for the reset or something. I don't know, but also in that whole question thing, he had like a list. Next to the skill-based matchmaking, thing that they said that they will be looking to tweak and adjust and stuff like that basically to me just says it's probably not going to change much just deal with it you know and if people are going to reverse boost they'll reverse boost back on aw when people reverse boosted people that they didn't give a shit they didn't change anything they just let them do it so i don't know what they'll do about it they'll either do nothing or they'll punish people for it. i don't know in the end i don't really care what happens to the people that are reverse boosting it's more so that if we just didn't have this system in place it wouldn't be happening but i understand it Anyway, Swag ended up asking Joe about the radar. Will the radar ever have red dots? Will the red dots, will the original, uh, you know, minimap return to the game? Which is like the big main focal point of the overhaul, by the way, that was rumored for the end of this month. But it seems like after they've collected enough data, they said that they ended up uh, designing this game with no radar in mind. They don't want the game to be played with the minimap that way. And I mean, it's their game. I absolutely understand it. But your game would be way better. I just know it would. Sorry to keep bringing it up like this, but I feel like I've played the game long enough to know how the game would change in a positive way if you were to actually make that change. But Or even make a, a, a separate playlist or a different mode that has that kind of radar thing and just see the, like, the way healthier gameplay that's going on. He said that he doesn't want it to be the way that we're used to because he doesn't want players to get, quote, hunted. 
I don't even know what the fuck that means, Joe. Maybe you feel like you're being hunted when you are the hunted to get hunted. What? You just watched me hunt these poor little Timmies right there. I, I, I just, I'm not, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. So we'll deal with it. Minimap's not gonna change. Skill-based matchmaking will change, quote. I can't believe we got one of the best feeling Call of Duty's ever created in our hands. And why? Why does it always have to happen like this? Why does it always have to be something? Why? This game could play so much better. I know it can. Come on down, care package. What you got for me today? New. Oh, good enough. See how much better the game's gonna play and how much faster they'll play it? Radar's on. Right there, I'm able to defend myself from a guy that I didn't even know was up in that corner. I would have died for nothing. Not because I'm bad, but because I didn't have the time to check every single corner in the room. Oh, it's just so much better that way, man. I'm not saying radar always on, but fuck, at least have their shit show up. I haven't been watching Mandalorian, but literally Yoda, or I, I don't know if that's Yoda himself. They call it baby Yoda, but I don't know if that's just his species or what, but it's literally the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen in my goddamn life. I actually want one as a pet, not just as a pet though. I want to take it in, raise it, and have it become my grandfather. I know that mathematically doesn't make any fucking sense, but you know what I'm saying. Definitely disappointed, but the double XP is up and everything like that. We can adjust. I I've adjusted already over this time to just play the way that the game wants me to play. Shame that the game can't be played better and they just, you know, aren't giving it a chance, but it is what it is. It's their game. I'm going to break my teeth again. I'm going to stop talking now. Love you guys. Thank you.